We really want to move away from the idea of funding a trial somewhere where the outcome is a publication and then that's it. And there's no impact on the organization itself. We feel that given intervention, a diet, which doesn't require um, FDA approval for an institution to use, it's also been in use for over 100 years in clinics across the country, in pediatric epilepsy clinics. So we know that there's a known safety and efficacy profile there. And given all that, we feel that if this intervention is successful and in hospitals' hands, they should really be planning to implement it and offer it to their patient population. So that was the conversation we had with them. And what they committed to is involving all the various departments of the hospital where who would relevantly be, be involved in this, whether it's cardiology, psychology, the diet team, they have a whole engineering department that looks at sort of process mapping to involve them up front and really come up with a plan at the end and say, this is what it would look like for us to build out a full program, how it would be situated in Mayo Clinic and how we think we could offer more value to, to patients. So we really think that this is an exciting way of, of doing research, especially when the intervention is one that is known and it's not. We know what the risks, we know what the benefits are, and we're not dealing with the unknown.